Hi everybody, I'm going to teach you how to get um, cute fonts and I'm already there but we're just going to go to kevinandamanda.com and they have tons of cute stuff on their blog but right here at the top is uh, the free fonts and then the fonts for peas here and they call them fonts for peas so that they'll all be starting with the word P and then you can find them easily in your fonts files. So as you can see there are tons and tons of great fonts. They're grouped together and you can scroll through as many as you want really. Um, you can go to the second page and I'm not sure exactly when they started doing these but they go back quite a while so um, what you do if you find one that you like let's say you like this PLX Valentine you would uh, click on that and then you're going to scroll down here and just click download now but if you want a whole group of them, the whole group, sometimes it's nice just to have options. So say you want the whole group. I'm going to go back to where I was here, down here. Oops. Say you want this whole group here that was added on March 19th. What I'm going to do is scroll down to the bottom. And you're going to click the download new. And then you're going to click download new again and this is going to pop up and you're just going to push ok it's a zip file so you're going to unzip it and then here's um, extract all files so I'm not sure how it'll look on yours but just find the extract button and extract those and there they all are and what you want to do now is go to your start button and go to your control panel and mine is under appearance and personalization so just find something that's similar and then you just want to find find your fonts file and there it is so in order to get all of these you can either drag them one by one or click the top one hold down shift click the bottom one and drag it over there and they're currently being added one of ten fonts here Oh, see, I already have these, so. Anyways, it's adding, again, the same fonts that I already have, but anyways. Okay, so that's all you do to get those to your software. That's going to be on your computer now, so it can be on your Microsoft Word, your Photoshop, your GIMP, whatever you're using. So if you go back here, I'm just going to show you how to get to the page where you can get the blogger font. So go down here, font frequently asked questions, and it says how do I use the fonts, and then it says you can also use the fonts on your blogger blogspot blog, and here's how. Now I'm not going to lie, this is a little bit complicated, and it's just going to take some time to do, but as you've seen many blogs have done it, so you can do it too. So basically it takes you through the steps here. First you choose your font and you download it. Then you convert the font to an SWF file. So you're going to do that here and make sure you um, save it to your desktop so you know where it is. This reminds you to, to click this uh, when you're in this uh, screen here. It shows you right there. and then she'll just take you through a few more things after you've downloaded that you need to also download and save each one of these to your desktop and uh, just remember their names obviously you shouldn't have anything similar but that's going to be important um, most of you us are using the new blogger designer template so you're going to want to download blogger sifrjs instead of just the sifr um, then you're going to create account at hostwebs.com 
So you're going to go there and you're going to open an account there. And under the file manager, you're going to upload the, the SWF font that you saved to your desktop and the other four uh, files that we just saved to the desktop. So then you will go through and you're going to see, just follow her instructions carefully and you'll be able to do it. Um, like I said, it's a little bit complicated. Um, you need to get a color picker to download um, like zeros. All zeros is white. You're going to need to pick what colors you want and that's fun. And she has some links here to do your color picking. And you can change the size of your font. And then right here she tells you about the final step. So it's a little bit time consuming. It's a little bit confusing. And with HTML, you really have to be careful of things like, um, like little tiny uh, apostrophes or whatever you want to call these. Um, because those little things, if they're removed, will ruin the whole um, code. So you just need to make sure. And then if you keep getting messed up, you're going to go right down here. And she has most every single question you can have answered. All right, so that's how you're going to do that. And I hope that you can figure it out. And if not, just keep trying and you'll get it. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.